ever wish that you had an instruction manual for all those insignificant moments in your life? Somewhere that answers the questions you've always thought but never bothered to ask. Welcome to Patchworkers here to help you navigate the nuances of everyday interactions. And today, we'll be teaching you how to get dressed for the day. So grab your knitting needles and a blanket because it's time for three old friends to sit around and sew a new patch into their quilt of life. So join me, Dion, under the covers with Christian. Welcome to Patchwork. And Josh. Welcome to Patchwork. To wear shorts or not to wear shorts? That is the question. Is it warm today? 21, 22. Does the temperature doth allow us to have our calves exposed? What is warm? What is warm? (laughs) What is love? What is love? (laughs) Oh, baby son, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. UV. (laughs) What? Oh, God. (laughs) Um, So, Josh... Yeah. Um, when are you going out, how do you pick a bloody pair of clothes? <laughs> uh, yeah, today we're talking all about clothes, getting dressed and stuff like that. So in the morning, I think that's that's the big decision making for the day, right? Mm-hmm. In the morning when you're getting up. Well, I'm, you're not going to make the decision what to wear later in the day. Not, but you might make it the day before, right? <laughs> ah. So I do it the morning. Well off. done, Josh. Yeah, yeah, great start, true, mate. Well mate. done. So I do it in the morning um, and I don't think about it the night before. Unless it's like a uniform or something. Yeah. But otherwise, the biggest determiner is I'll go, hey, Google, what's the weather today? That is the big determiner. Do you for trust me. Google though? Google's I, I garbage. Just, I just want to know, are we, are we talking hot? Are we talking cold? Are we talking rain? So mm. let's say that you get a forecast for rain. That How does that change what you're going to wear for the day? Thongs are out, probably. Oh, thongs wow. are out. Oh, meaning you'll wear thongs. <laughs> thongs are off the menu. Yeah, okay. Thongs are off the menu. Yeah, because I don't get my feet wet. Yes. Okay. Hey, well, I think that wearing thongs in wet conditions is actually quite clever. Because mm. what's the alternative? Do you have wa- do you have waterproof shoes? Nah. Yeah. No one likes wet socks. No one likes wet socks. No. No. But I think people that- like a wet blanket. <laughs> yes. No. People don't oh, no, like. No. People a wet- don't like a wet blanket. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think though that when I see that it's a forecast for rain. It just for me is like, well, that's one additional layer, but my but my kind of mm. core yeah. clothes yeah. for the day uh, remain unchanged. I think the other big thing, so you're you're really not changing. I have a nuclear outfit. Okay, great. Yeah, oh, so, wow. Yeah, so I think that when I'm waking up, well, normally it's if I want to be productive for the day, I do it the night before. So you actually will do that? It, the, the, it's the dream. The most productive days I have in my life mm. Are when I do the preparation for the morning the night before. How do you feel about having a shower the night before? If you got an early flight in the morning, you're doing Ooh. a shower the night before. Mm. I'm like, I always just, it's nothing like a shower in the morning. That's true. It's nothing like it. No. The other problem is that you have a shower at night and you go to bed, someone with hair, you, your hair's all over the shop yeah, in the morning. It's not great. It's a bloody nightmare. Uh, yes, but mm. I also think I like the shower in the morning because it's the wake up, right? It is the wake it's up. It's the immediacy of the wake up. Yeah. You're ready to go post shower. Yep. But if, yeah, you're so sluggish without water on you. Something about the water gets rid <laughs> yeah. of the slug. <laughs> what, what, what do you think that is? Do you uh, think slugs, slugs, think slugs to slimers, <laughs> water to human? Yeah. <laughs> Because I think with the water, <laughs> after the shower, though, I hate... Hang on. Sorry. I, I just want to... You're saying that the slug slime is what wakes it up in the morning by that time. I think it must be. It has to be. But does it, is the slug getting ready with its slime the morning, the, 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 the <laughs> night before? <laughs> it puts its slime in a little bucket. <laughs> Tomorrow's going to be a great day. But what about the slime, the, the slug weather forecast as well? It's going to be slimy today. Hey, it's going to be wet. Don't worry. You've got a shower. <laughs> Uh, what I was going to say is that with the water and you, after the shower, I hate putting on a worn shirt. It's always oh. got to be new stuff. So even what, even if I have like That's an afternoon weird. shower or something, it always feels weird putting on a shirt that I've worn after oh, a shower. Wow, Do you know what I think wee. that goes to? I think that goes to Josh, your efficiency. You want to, you want that shower to be, you want the shower to be maximised in terms of its effectiveness. I guess, yeah. Because you're, you're diminishing the effectiveness of the shower yeah. by putting on something warm. Because you're like, I'm all clean now. Give me the clean clothes. What about wow. if you do a sniff test of the clothes and they're fine? Do you trust your nose in that oh, situation? Oh, it's how it feels, mm. right? Oh, really? I feel like a dirty, a, a, yeah. a worn thing is just how it feels. When you put it on, mm. you go, this feels dirty. That's really clear. That's interesting because, well, I think that if I'm going out, I will think less about... 
Yeah, I think I'll think oh. less about whether it's been worn. Out at night, you mean? Yeah. Really? Oh. Yeah. I think I more. N- because, but I, I normally, think more. <laughs> but I, I normally layer stuff, so the under. Th- oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. When oh. you layer yeah, a shirt over the top, that is a very different thing rather than it's touching skin. There's, there's something, though, to be said for getting dressed in the morning. In And I remember you, Josh, talking about this a, quite a while ago, dressing up. Dressing yourself up in the morning oh. can really change your outlook on the day. So instead of putting on yeah. tracky pants, whatever yeah. it is, if you put on those jeans and a nice shirt, even if you're inside, you're ready to go. Well, that was the mm. other thing I was going to say. I'd like to know what you guys do. How much, In terms of determining your wear for the day, how much are you looking at what you've got on? Because I have a clear distinction between I'm leaving the house, I'm not leaving the house. That's interesting. And would you wear normal clothes and slippers? Is that toying with the with the yeah. true notion of home and out? Yes, I think it does. I think any kind of vestige of mm. comfort. Really? Yeah, I think that that slips you over to comfort zone. Would you put on dress shoes at home? Uh, no. Do I wear a tux around yeah, I was the house? Say. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't put dress shoes on at home? You wouldn't? Nah, no way. I think, but I think mm. donning shoes is a very important part of the outfit. Proper shoes. Because if you're barefoot, you're still, you're still in the Yeah, but around the yeah. house, morning that's okay. mode. Mm. I know, but there's something what about, about a sock? shoes. What about a sock? Same thing, Josh. I said <laughs> shoes, didn't I? <laughs> what about thongs? Does thongs do that job? Songs. Does thongs, <laughs> does thongs do that job? Well, why would you wear thongs? Around the house, that's a dumb question, Dion. What are you talking about? That yes. seems like a perfectly reasonable thing to do, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, I does th- it? I, I, yeah. For me, I don't <laughs> think thongs qualify shoes. I'm talking about waking up in the morning yeah. and putting on what you would leave the house yeah. in. Yeah. First thing. So one of my big, I do actually have classifications as well, particularly of my shirts. Mm. Right. So there are t-shirts that are my novelty ones. So like host scheme stuff or whatever bar work I've done, it's all branded and weird. And they're like bed shirts or exclusively around the house. They don't really leave Great. the house ever. Great. Yes. Um, and so they're very clear oh. and they've got their own staff. Would they be under a jumper though? Uh, or they just don't no, leave the house? It's, it's, they really? only go on if it's overnight or I'm like, I'm only inside this house mm. all day today. I'm never going out. I'm never going you out. Make that yeah. commitment at the start yeah. of the day. And then, and then they have my other T-shirts that are separate to that. And then both of those, they have their own system of use. Mm. So, Amazing. so as as a shirt gets worn and cleaned, it goes on the left hand side. Yes, and then and then once once more clean ones come in, they move under the one. So I always oh grab from God. the right. I grab from the top right. Yes, the top right shirt. It means you haven't worn this for a really long time. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, but what? So hang on. So if you wear a shirt to bed, are you wearing it? How many times? Oh, that'll go like it, bed shirt will go like a week at least. A yeah. week at jo- least. <laughs> I, I don't think that this should come as any surprise to any listener. Josh, you have game, like essentially gamified <laughs> your wardrobe, but you've also standardized it, which I love because it, it's almost like when, when you say that, I think about my underwear, right? Mm. I bought the, I, a, a point in time and I've asked them to sponsor us. Step one, mm. give me some more underwear. <laughs> but I just said, I'm throwing all my underwear away. I'm buying 20 pairs of step one underwear. Wait, they you are bought 20? They are over over the years. Oh, I see. I see. They are identical and I don't have to think at mm. any point about oh, which underwear am I wearing. It's just, they're the ones I'm wearing. What about your socks? Uh, so, yeah. socks is very interesting. I made the transition maybe four or five years ago <gasps> to wear a quirky sock yeah. every day. How do, we, how do we get convinced into quirky? <laughs> what is big quirky sock doing? Yeah, I know. Happy, start with happy, happy socks. Yeah. I'm, I'm sad socks yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Shocking. Yeah, so all of my socks have, you know, eclectic colours. Yeah. So I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> you hate that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm the same. They're all different patterns and stuff. Yeah. So I, like, that's an extra thing in the morning. I have to make a decision on, do I want polka dots and do I want stripes? I don't so, give a fuck. No, but that's the whole point for me. I just put my hand in grab on because I'm like, whatever it is, it, you can argue that it's a bit quirky. So hang on. So <laughs> do you have... Because I have classifications of my socks. Do you have? Do you classify or bundle your socks Great. in any particular... You just have... All quirky, all no, the time, no, 24-7. I, no, Great. I have. It's actually quite interesting. So the, the, Is I it? Two, <laughs> I hope so, because that's the whole podcast. <laughs> I have two drawers. Top drawer of socks. The top layer of that drawer is the high rotation quirks. Yep, yep. Bottom oh. layer is like my blacks. Yeah. Oh, Formal wow. blacks. You? Well, my, my classification is the blacks, the whites... And then the colours. So you keep them all separate, <laughs> yeah, do you, Josh? Yeah, yeah. Really? That's There's absolute apartheid going on in my socks. <laughs> uh, 
absolutely. And then I have the explorers are in a separate drawer. Oh, today. the explorers. That's when we're getting serious. Yes. Okay. Yes. If we're going to get serious about socks, we're going to have some yes. explorers. It's, yes. a, it's a big word. It's a, like a significant word for a sock, isn't it? <laughs> explorer. <laughs> explorer. Nothing else. Like a big woolen jumper is just called a big woolen jumper. <laughs> explorer gets explo- explorer socks like thick socks. Yes. Get explorer. And they do deserve their own drawer. I, don't let them mingle with the rest They're of the common big. folk. Yeah. They take up too much space. Yeah. Too, too big. Do you know what I routinely feel terrible about? It's the way. Oh, how do you store your socks? Yeah. Do you just. Well, how do you describe oh, it? How do you, how do you describe it? In a I, bundle of bundle, all, of, so, bundle of sock joy. So the way I do it is they both lay on top of each other, and then I grab at the oh. at the toe, and then I roll, 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 roll to the top, and then I pull the open gap I've over them. I've seen this done, and really? I've had it done to me before. Done to me. <laughs> done to me before. It's brilliant because it, it doesn't fuck up how the do socks. So how do you guys do it? You just scrunch it up. No way. <gasps> Wait, I just go. I go uh, the way that I learned growing up, which is you have one sock. Lay flat, and then you reverse the so- the other sock on top of it. What? Fold them over, and then pull oh. and make inside out. That's like a magic trick. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I think that's what I do. Yeah, normal, but- normal. Yeah, just I, normal. It's I be can't normal. wait to see this after the show. We'll do a little video tutorial because I'm I'm stunned. But you're oh. you're rolling like a cigar or something. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure that's hyper normal. H- how did you learn? No, I think it's the be- uh, it's the best mechanism. Presumably, I don't you do know. it. Do you do it so that it doesn't fuck up? It's the best way to not. Fuck I don't up your know. Socks. I think they're the most contained and bundled and small without like dangly bits hanging out of them. Oh. So I think that's what I like about it. Do, do you do you hang your t-shirts or fold them? T-shirts get folded and put in a, a cupboard. How many folds? I have a special system. <laughs> oh, I mean, <laughs> just that is mind blowing. No, but just like there's this, a thing where you line up the line, like the middle, oh. you go near the collar and then the middle and then you pinch it and you cross your arms over your un- and you unfold it oh, and it just looks do- folded. Josh is the best folder in the world. Is he? Josh is using best practice for all folding. <laughs> I, this, is how, this is how you do it. Don't scoff at it, Christian. I, I just, I, like, I'm happy that you have all these systems in place. Yep. But it's, it's quick. That's the thing. It's the quickest way to do it's it. It's quick, sure. but it's magical seeing it as well. I would, know that technique. Yeah, would yeah. you consider your wardrobe organized? Uh, yeah, everything has its place. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. What about... Ha- how do you fold? Let's all hold our breath. How do you fold a fitted sheet? You got some amazing mechanism. Uh, nah, for that's, that? that's fitted. Fitted sheet is black magic. There's no way a, yeah. known that's ever getting folded. What about folded. duvet? Putting a thing on a duvet. I know. I know a way to do that. I can do it inside or outside. Do you know like, the outside is, is way? Is this all about how you get ready in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> so Dion's putting the duvet on. <laughs> the other, just the other, the other thing with my system with my shirts that hang, they hang like similar to the t-shirts. It's right to left. So I only grab from the right, and new ones go on the left. Jesus. So as things work their way to the right, I know that I haven't worn it for a while. See, it's interesting. Brilliant. So, this is great. Yeah. yeah and then, so I, great. then I go. These are rules galore, by the <laughs> oh, way. Shit, yeah. 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 Let's trigger a rule. You got one. Yep. That one. That one's exceptional. If you want to. Always hang your shirts so the clean ones go on the left and the used ones you carry on to the right. Nice. I, I mean, I'm not going to use that rule. That's a rule for you. I feel sure. like I feel like for me, getting dressed in the morning, it's all about the season that I'm in because I only the have season for any given season. Season six, episode four. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, God. For any given season, I think to myself, "Cool, what do you?" Because I'll always have like a series of like three t-shirts, two jeans and a jumper or something that for some reason in the last two months, oh, they're my high oh, rotation you clothes. You get obsessed with them. You get obsessed. Did you do that, Josh? Uh, yeah, but that's why I have the wearing system. So I know what if I'm something's saying dropped is, off the radar. What I'm saying is I think that I operate on like a seven day cycle. So mm. when I'm getting up in the morning, I'm like, cool. Well, today I'll combine that shirt that I wear every other day, that t-shirt underneath. Mm. And those jeans, and it's just a constant rotation of that. Christian, that shirt you're wearing—if you—if you listen to us, you can also watch us on YouTube, and you can see yes. the shirt that Christian is wearing at the yes. moment, and he's looking at the camera now with a lovely, lovely smile. Is that? I feel like that is the type of shirt that I would buy that would be in vogue for a couple of weeks, and I'd overuse it, and people would You'd overuse people it. People would look at me and go, so, "What are you doing?" So this was this this choice today was because we we want to wear for the video, we want to wear some lighter oh. colors, and I was just going through my shirts. And it had been crumpled between two shirts, oh. and I'd forgotten that it existed. Mm-hmm. Really great to debut it again. Well, it's, well, been, it's been a really long time. Get him off the bench. Bring yeah. it back. He's coming back in big I'm, season. I feel very good about wearing this. I really great. think that we need to, in some way, if we can, formalize Josh's folding. And I think that that's an approach for the ages. Yeah, people need to know about it. There's a lot of people that wake up in the morning is like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Well, because the other really difficult thing you have to be aware of as well is who you're seeing. Like you talked about us getting dressed for this. 
we have to switch on a lot. So oh. the video is dynamic, but mm-hmm. we might not have recorded for two weeks. Yeah. So when you're going to see someone, you have to also kind of be like, oh, hang on. Was I wearing this the last time I saw them? Or when you go to work Did, and you wait, haven't wait. been to work for a week wait, or so. Okay. Wait, you care about that stuff, Josh? Okay. I think so. Really? Josh, you saw me yesterday. Yep. What was I wearing? Great. Beneath beneath my, you know, oh. AFL team paraphernalia. Probably like a white T-shirt, I think. I don't Ridiculous. know. Ridiculous. I don't know. That is how that and I have no idea what you yeah, were wearing. Right? So yep. don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, that's a good point. Do you know the, what you were wearing, the, Christian? No. The o- Actually, yeah, I, of course I do. do. Yeah, okay. I was wearing a grey jumper. But the only person I think that I think about with that stuff is when I go to see my therapist. <laughs> I do <laughs> not want to be wearing the right. same clothes that as the time so before. That's so funny. That's yeah. so funny. Oh, here's a question for you. Does it matter? Do you want your your lower half or your upper half on rotation? More because I I Ooh, have been wearing black yeah. jeans all the time, but my upper half has to change. Yeah, the upper half's got to change. Yeah. How, how many pairs of pants do you have? I'm down to like one pair of jeans now, and really? it's not the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be the end of the world. That is a brand name is, of a new jean. <laughs> Josh, is this it, what you're wearing now? Yeah, these jeans. Yeah, it's a great jean. Nice it's jean. a dark jean. They're nice. You, Just a black versatile. pair of du jour. Shout outs to du jour jeans on Sydney Road. Yeah. What have oh. they ever done for you? Why are you shouting them out? They're going to be... Uh, what what these jeans? You <laughs> shouted up step one. They gave us one pair of underwear each. <laughs> yeah. <well. laughs> anyway, I, so that's a good point. I actually don't think you should care about your friends in particular, what you're wearing there. Maybe yeah. work colleagues, though. Say, say yeah. you're at a workplace, you only go there once a week or oh, something. Oh, that's a good point. That you probably have to pay a bit more attention to that. Imagine if you're a celebrity. Yeah. You can't wear, you can't wear the same thing... But didn't, didn't so much pressure. But was right? it oh. Daniel Radcliffe? I think did it where he just kept wearing the same outfit out, so the paparazzi shots were useless. Are they? That's Be- because it didn't matter what day it was; he just looked the same. So you couldn't say, "Here he is on this day." Here, people, are, well, it's the same. same hey, same that's day. that is a good method, is it? Yeah, I don't buy that at all. You're saying that photographers. If he's in Milan, but he's wearing the same T-shirt, they're not going to take a photo of him because he's wearing the same T-shirt. Uh, it's probably, they might get bored the back, with him. The background keeps I don't changing. Know. I, didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't take the photo. No, no, no. He takes it the same background around <laughs> yeah, with him as yeah. well. <laughs> <laughs> he straps around his waist like a big backpack. Yeah, great. Yeah, he goes, I'm in New York again. <laughs> or just a green screen. Yeah, the green screen would be amazing. Like, Put me it. wherever you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Many of you have been with us for many years and you will know the Roybus Challenge. It's when we contact a company and seek consumer justice. We thought we'd have a bit of a spin-off from that and you've heard this before. We're going to play a bit of high team. High team. Christian, hi- would you like to high team? Sure. Hi, the sun team. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, big thanks for all the warmth you provide our earth with. Massive fan of both sunrise and sunset. Just some quick feedback. It's really deflating when I see you all week from my office desk, but then you completely disappear on the weekend. (laughs) I get that you're probably really busy, but it's starting to feel a little bit deliberate. Incredibly warm regards, Christian. (laughs) Josh? Uh, You got an email you wanted to send? Yeah, yeah, I'll send mine off. Hi, shoe store laces team. Can you please just do the laces up in a somewhat normal way Great. rather than some bizarre lacing that no one has ever used before? Yes. <laughs> I don't get a good sense of what the shoes will feel like unless I spend five minutes lacing them up myself. And also, just lace them to the top. It's useless trying on a pair of shoes unless you can tie them up properly. Aglet regards, Josh. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Josh. Hi, team. Hi, entrepreneurial glove-making team. Huh? So you've made a pair of gloves for me to wear. Thank you. That's great. These will be really useful in winter. Oh, I can see three fingertips on each glove are a different color. You haven't made them so I can use my phone and have gloves on at the same time, have you? Let me grab my phone so I can try. Swipe, swipe. Huh, that's strange. They're not doing anything. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) oh, wait. My screen moved when I swiped once. Oh, God, this is (laughs) unbelievably frustrating. (laughs) It hasn't moved since. What a pity. You're one of the worst inventions I've ever, I've ever used. <laughs> Touch regards. Dion. You want to look You're like, I know my format's oh my out God. the window. Stream of consciousness. <laughs> like, little like, oh God, like, no, no. I great. wrote it as a letter, but then I was like, oh, this would be funny. It's a dialogue. It's a dialogue. <laughs> mm. I, since shaving my head in the last two years, have noticed that... I now have to sometimes wear beanies to mm. trap the warmth in because you can get a very cold head. Mm-hmm. 
now that you have exposed skin. <laughs> Me talking to myself. <laughs> um, my question to both of you was, do you accessorize? So you're getting ready in the morning. Is there a type of, you know, well, I wear my hat. I, I, oh, I wear this necklace. Or have you ever accessorized? Sunglasses. Well, what are the what are the options out there? Like, what what other things are there? Because someone said to me the other day, they was like, "You look good with a ring on your finger." Oh. There is no way. Try, is that them trying yeah, to propose? Yeah, to you? <laughs> <laughs> there is no way that I would wear a ring because I like I've got it in my head that I'd look like I'd look pretentious and look like a wanker. Mm. But that's just my own bullshit yeah. narrative in my head, and where I've gone. Like where I've you'd grown, I don't know. You'd look. I've never <laughs> looked at someone who thought you'd look good in a ring. Yeah, it's weird, like, isn't it? It's a weird a thing. A hat or a cap that kind of makes sense. Can I, what is can that? I just say, <laughs> can I just say? <laughs> it's very funny hearing Dion talk about wearing a ring. Ring, because I just quickly had a look around at all of our wrists to work out whether we accessorize. And Dion is wearing an elastic band <laughs> <laughs> as a bracelet. <laughs> And this is hilarious because I don't know before the record of the episode I made that connection. But when I was younger, I loved having shit around my wrists. Yeah. How you young? You used to have a thing, yeah, right? Yeah, I used to wear a lot of leather. So I had like oh, yeah. leather Jesus. necklaces and leather yeah. wrist things and oh, stuff like big, that. Oh, those fat yeah. leather Not bracelets. Those, but with the like press studs, I didn't have those. Oh, uh, yeah. But a lot of it was just like tied. It looked good for memory. It was like a unique I, I kinda look. Liked it, yeah. what, what, what happened? I don't know. I just stopped putting stuff on my wrist. And then like my, my wristwatch broke once. And then it was it was getting too expensive to keep replacing the um, wrist bit. What do yeah. you call the What do you call the that? band? The band. And then I just stopped wearing my watch. I was like, wrist, this is fine. The wrist bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a wrist bit, right? It's literally a wrist watch. <laughs> I, I, I really like, I see your Apple watch there, Dion. <laughs> And I try so hard to wear watches. I have one, like a Garmin one, right? Mm. And it, and I'm always taking it off because yeah. I try to type, I try to ri- rest uh, my wrist yeah. and it annoys me and I hate that it annoys me. I'll go a step further. I think this watch looks like shit. <laughs> I don't think they look good. They don't look good at all. Well, Apple, I, have, I don't like watches. All, all I, watches it, in square general. The is shocking. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't a tech podcast. We'll save that. <laughs> but it, what about the the your experience with the watch itself? I don't use it at all for but anything. You, but you wear it every day. No, I don't. I'm oh, waning okay. off it. I think I'll just sell it. You should oh, wear it every wow. day. Yeah. A watch to is you. an everyday thing. <laughs> a watch is an everyday thing. You should wear, like. But who needs a fucking... Why do you need to know the time? Because, <laughs> I, yeah, I, in terms of like adornments, I don't really do hats. Like the well, sunnies, I'll do. I've never. I really can't imagine you in a hat because I think it looks stupid. No, it might not though. There's a. Ha- don't you reckon? Here we go. Here's a rule. There's a hat for everyone. There has to be. You just got to find it. Mm. You just got to find it. There's got to be a hat that this suits is, you. But this is a story you've been telling yourself for a very long time, Dion, because you're yeah. desperate to wear hats. Yeah, I like wearing hats, but yeah. also there's a sta- there's a stage where a straight white guy wears one of those stupid baseball hats, and God, you look like a basic fucker. <laughs> yeah, like walk around Thornbury in one of those things. All you need is a snap fucking- back. Yeah, snap back. All you need is a. Pram and a fucking grudel. The only time <laughs> <laughs> a grudel. The only <laughs> to tie the hat. <laughs> the only time the dog still got the sticker on it. <laughs> Great, it's underneath the dog. <laughs> Um, the only time I will entertain a hat or beanie thing is when it's very cold. Mm. And often when I finish work, if I'm um, at work really late, coming home like four a.m. and it's really cold out, I'll get my little Sherpa hat. And pop that on because I'm, I'm like uh, I don't feel comfortable wearing that around because I yes. think I look like a fool. Yes. but I'll yeah. wear it super late at night, wandering around the city. Do but do we need to? What 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 is the fundamental thing behind accessorizing? It's more about like can you express yourself more than just wearing clothes? Is there a bit more to your creativity that's just wearing clothes? And, and that's it's why it's option. hard. But that's the thing, right? That's why it's a difficult conversation for us three to have because we don't accessorize. Mm. We don't have. I don't think the three of us feel any particular need to express our personality through clothing. But there are a lot of people who find that a beautiful way to express themselves. 100%. Right? The getting I don't want to talk about like the eccentricities of the accessories. More so people that wear sunglasses, just a quick bone to pick. Oh. I got a bone to pick. If you're wearing sunglasses, this is a bone to pick and a rule. <laughs> the daily double. If you're wearing sunglasses and you enter a conversation with someone else, 
take the sunglasses off. Take them off. But if you're, you're outside, thro- you throw me. What if you're outside and it's sunny? You're talking to someone. I want to see your eyeballs. No, that, you, that's why you're wearing the sunglasses. No, no, because you're talking to someone. That doesn't matter. No. You don't exclusively wear sunglasses to look out. Over okay. Things. R- Make sure the person you're talking to also has sunglasses. Okay. I and if can't, they don't, I can't oh, do the, it. The power imbalance you don't it like. It is a power play. Yeah. For me, it's a power play. Because yeah. I can't see your balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I need to... I feel like there's a deep connection you get looking into someone's eyes you, that you get their full sense of expression. Sunglasses have to come off. Do it, does a hat have to come off? If you're just wearing it? No. O- only if you're national anthem. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chris, just because of what you're wearing now, Christian, I did yes. notice your sleeves are rolled up on your shirt. Ah, they I'd like are. To ask both of you, mm. what is your sleeve policy when you're wearing a shirt? I mean, yes. just, if I can just say, if you've got a reason yeah. to go on our YouTube page, it's yeah. a lovely look. Uh, that that put- actually looks gorgeous. And the way you folded it, is that? Is, have you put a little bit of effort into that? Has someone done that for you? Surely you've done that yourself. <laughs> have you? Has done someone that fo- Which question you I live. I live alone. <laughs> So the implication is that I've gone and visited a neighbour. <laughs> or you've taught your grudel how to you. <laughs> um, no, this is just I've rolled it up myself. But every single shirt that I wear, Josh, irrespective irrespective of it being long sleeve oh. or short sleeve, gets a cuff. Oh, really? really? I'm taking the formal back a bit. I think it's just about <laughs> introducing a bit of edge. <laughs> why did why you ask Josh about because rolling up? Because with my shirts, I will always roll to the forearm. Oh, like okay. every si- I I hate the feeling of it going all the way to the end of my hand. It's a weird. Mm. Yeah, it's a weird. Do you mean that feeling, like the actual feeling of the material? The I think material? it's the constriction of the shirt going yeah. all the way and being like narrow around the end of yeah. it. Do you like, know? Ugh. Do you know something that's really frustrating to me is when you're wearing a shirt underneath a jumper and the jumper sleeve covers the shirt underneath it. Oh. I I, I want the I want the shirt to be a little bit exposed, like you when you, when you're wearing a suit is, and yeah, the yeah. suit jacket goes over the shirt. Yeah. You look like a fucking idiot. Do you know what? Are you meant to wear <laughs> shirt? <laughs> I didn't know that I, I surprised really myself. Angry. I surprised so myself angry. by how angry that made me. Um I, can you wear button down shirts in winter? What are you meant to do? Yeah, what do you mean? But it's cold. Hang on. A t-shirt's no warmer than a shirt. What what are you trying to say? <laughs> Are you saying that what I'm doing right now isn't appropriate for winter? No, no, no. Because you're wearing, do you, Josh? I, in- I, I have a t-shirt on for those <laughs> listening to our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a t-shirt on, and it's layered with a long sleeve shirt over the top. Yeah, that that makes sense. But the problem is that if you want to wear a jumper with that in winter, mm. I don't love the look of the collar over the jumper. It's a, oh. it's a very work look. So what do you do? Yeah, that's right. It's very work. And yeah. I like that work look. Uh, I mm. think I normally wear... Yeah, I, this is this is what it is. It's I don't really wear jumpers out. Oh, wow. I wear jackets. Oh, jackets, wow. jackets go out. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> um, Christian, do you wear jumpers out? Uh, absolutely. Who wouldn't? Yeah. Because that's how you... you stay warm in winter for would, me. I would... wear jackets. Maybe. Oh. Makes sense. Jackets and scarves. Mm, and I do like the layering. There we go. Scarves. You wear scarves. Yeah, That's an accessory scar- that you wear. I do like accessories. scarves now. The weird thing is I've got a bunch of different ones and I kind of just default to one or two of them. Ah, I do and the I same. leave the rest and I go, yeah, these are fine. These yeah. are my scarves. Mm. Yeah. Do you wear you scarves, Christian? No, never. Why, why don't you look gorgeous in a scarf? Well, I'm too hot. My I, As an individual, I overheat very quickly. Oh. And the moment that a scarf touches my neck, I, I get two things happen. Oh. Start sweating immediately. Get a sore neck. <laughs> No idea why. It's a like sore neck. It's like I've been Pavlovianly conditioned to get a sore neck when a scarf touches I, me. I think my I have issues with wearing the scarf that I think it like over weirdly balances my head. What? And mm. so I don't hold my head straight. That's and then what I it start is. To hurt. I'm like I don't know what's going yes, on here. I get the same thing with a beanie. Sometimes yeah. when I'm wearing the beanie, I'm like. This beanie is throwing the weight of yeah. my head out of whack, and my neck is suffering. I think you're wearing it. poor quality scarves. No, I think you need a lighter fabric or that we- breathes. Oh, maybe that's it. But I the mean- whole point of the scarf is to keep warm. It's doing its job. Well, maybe no, is it no, acting no. as like wind barrier. Yeah, wind barrier. Wait, wait, wait. But but wool keeps warm, but it still breathes. Josh just You ne- never see a sheep in the you know- field going. Oh, this is fucking <laughs> hot, isn't it? Josh, you just need one of those like the things that they throw on the fire. The space blanket, uh, yeah, space yeah, blanket, space blanket. A- as a scarf. Imagine that, yeah, as a statement, as a fashion statement. Wait, Just- what, wait, what is this space blanket? It's yeah. like alfoil. You know the alfoil oh, blanket. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah anytime been- someone's cold in a movie <laughs> yeah. after some kind of catastrophe. Trauma. After some kind of trauma, yeah, they just throw, yeah, yeah, mm. a bit of foil. Here's, here's yeah. a quick question for you: with the shirts, 
do you how much time and effort goes into buttoning the shirt? Great. Uh, so great. I I think great. that sorry, Dion. That's mm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, but I am so surprised that with a shirt, you have what? How many buttons? How many buttons? Let's six, six buttons? Something like that. Six? In a what matter, six of, buttons in a a matter of the positioning Could of, be- of <laughs> six buttons, you are ex- ex- an entirely different person. <laughs> yeah. The way that yeah. you do your buttons up, all of a sudden someone thinks it's six pieces <laughs> of plastic. <laughs> but if you button them in a different way, all of a sudden... Someone sees you and goes, that guy's a piece of shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if you go three down, right? Three down, and yeah. all of a sudden you've got a bit of an ego. Yeah. W- why yeah. is it all oh, the way done to the top? Yeah, oh. that's another look. But also, you probably get your hair cut every week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep, exactly right. Well, yeah. why, why does a duvet cover? Back have, to the duvet cover. They, they, oh, they, 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 they have buttons. <laughs> they have buttons. They have Velcro. Press they have press studs. D- why do we only have buttons on I shirts? Love, I love that Dion's duvet cover has the, the top button undone. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit sexy. Got to be the, yeah. the dude is sticking out underneath. Um, but why? But why do they? Why on a on a button down? I've got shirt, a press stud shirt. Oh, you don't? Do you? Yeah, I Josh, do have one. Do you? Yeah, everyone else what are you do stripping. For? Yeah. <laughs> No, I've got like the inbuilt booties as well. <laughs> no, I remember actually. At um, I remember it was all the rage when I used to play basketball as a teenager. Every, the rip off pants. Oh, you had to have the rip off pants. They were fucking great, weren't they? And all it is is because it's like, oh yeah, I'm going to play basketball now. Instead of having to like take off my shoe to get my pants off, I just have to whip them off like. Can that. you still buy them? You God, get them, get them from the strippers, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was like that. It was just a weird thing of. I don't know why that was so important to have to fit in as that kid. You're like, man, everyone's got the rip. I've got to get the rip off ones. That, oh, I've got to get the rip off ones. I wished that I had them. They were so cool. Why didn't? Why did you have to wish that you had them? You could have had them. Ah, well, you didn't grow up in my house. <laughs> <like them. laughs> that was seen as a sign in of this, the devil. In this house, <laughs> we wear pants that secure and stay on. <laughs> Do you know what's really good? When you find an old stick of lip balm that still manages to moisturise your chapped lips. Oh, really good. Really good. Really good. Really good. Do you know what's really good? When wedding speeches run on time. Oh, really good. Really good. Really good. Really good. And do you know what's really good? The validation of someone else witnessing the moment you throw a crumpled piece of paper into a bin from a distance. Oh, really, really good. good. Really, really good. good. You know what's really, really good. Look, on behalf of the three of us, I would love to thank you. And I can thank you for listening to another episode of Welcome to Patrick. Uh, it's been very fun. It's felt like it's been a l- very long time. Christian, you managed <laughs> to, to get through to, this unscathed. To the audience, Two it's weeks. been a fortnight. It's been yeah. a fortnight, <laughs> yeah. and that's what's important, isn't it? Um, covered some ground today, didn't we? We did. We did yeah. cover a lot of things. I think my my systems and my practicalities around my... It's best practice. My clothing is best yeah. practice. Yeah, 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 and I found that I've standardised things by buying all the same underwear. It's good. Yeah, like that's been helpful. And we realised that accessorising is a really good way to express yourself. We just don't want to do that, do we? <laughs> I think we sort of realised a lot about um, when you're going to see someone, it actually doesn't matter what you're wearing. They're no. not going to remember the last thing you wore. No, so absolutely. That. Our attention span has basically dissolved into <laughs> yeah, nothing. Yeah, right. And just remember, dress shoes around the house <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> only. <laughs> Um, we'd like to thank a couple of recent patrons. If you go to uh, patreon.com forward slash welcome to Patrick, Gemma and Mandy have just joined up as patrons. Woo. They're getting... Mm. Ba- bonus patches. Yeah. Beautiful bonus patches that are arguably much funnier <laughs> than the real patches. Um, um, but the big thing that does is it keeps this show running. It like, does. It does cost money to do this. So thank you so much to every single patron. Thank you so much. Uh, we've also got social media. Oh. Instagram. we got Twitter. Oh, we've got Facebook. We are doing Instagram, some incredible work. TikTok. TikTok. Uh, I should say more, more precisely, Josh and Christian, the work you've been doing has been immense. These clips we're churning out, little 30-second clips, share them with your friends, share them with your mum and dad. We don't care. Just share them. (laughs) And also, we're on YouTube, so if you want to actually see the show ever, you can totally find it on YouTube. It's good Mm. fun. And as we do every week, we sew a new patch into our quilt of friendship. Josh, 
What patch did you sew into our quilt this week? Thank you, Dion. My patch this week is Christian, seeing someone whose shirt sleeve is entirely covered by their jacket sleeve and murdering them. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, what patch did you sew this week? Thank you, Josh. This week I sewed into my patch me, helping Dion make sleep time a little more casual by undoing a button and cuffing up the bottom of his duvet. <laughs> <laughs> and Dion, what did you sew into your patch this week? My patch this week is Josh sewing button studs into a slimy slug's casing (laughs) to ensure its outer skin can come off that little bit quicker. (laughs) Thank you for listening to Welcome to Patchwork for another week. I've been Dion. I've been Josh. And I've been Christian. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.